Hi everyone and welcome to High Belly Food Planner. So today we are here with a video on a Tuesday. This is not about a deal or anything. Um, so you, if you're not interested, then you might, if you're just here for couponing, you're probably not going to like this video. But anyway, I just want to address a couple things um, and, and basically just say I'm tired of the drama. Like I, I this, and it's not just on YouTube. It's everywhere like on my own personal like Facebook and stuff people are fighting every single day over ridiculous things and having no sense of respect for each other and I just hate that that's what this world is right now it's not right but anyway I'm just going to address a couple things that happened here on YouTube so yesterday th this was ridiculous that this even went to here I got a comment about how it was hard to hear me in a mask and so I was like oh okay I looked into it because if you ever have something where it's hard to understand, I would rather you tell me so I don't keep going around not working through it. So they said it's kind of hard to hear you in a mask. So I went and actually watched one of my videos. And there were, I will not say the entire thing was hard to hear. But there were certain parts that were a little difficult to hear. Because the mask, that extra layer on your face, does kind of make it harder to hear. So I thought, I was always told in college by professors and stuff, if one person's got a question then probably the majority have the same same question. So maybe there were other people out there who were struggling to hear the videos, but didn't know how to fix it. So very nicely, not complaining or throwing shade at anybody. I just said it's been brought to my attention that um, it's kind of hard to hear me with a mask. So here are four ways that you can hear me better. Use the end cards and printable breakdown, the captions feature, the slowdown feature, um, and just me trying to, to speak louder. I'm going to try to speak louder in the store. That was it. That was the entirety of the post. That that was the post. And not everybody. I will not say everybody. Because the majority did not. But there were people who totally twisted that around. And were mean about it. But the comment that really struck out at me on that post was... Stop talking about complaints unless you're actually going to fix it. Seriously. That's what the person said. Okay. I don't know, like, where you got off deciding that that was a nice way to talk to people. No, that, you, don't, you don't talk to someone. like That is not respect. You don't tell somebody what to do, for one. No. No. Because what really got me was that post. People, I think, sometimes that people think I put this stuff out there because I'm feeling sorry for myself and I'm wanting to be built up. And that's definitely not the case at all. Like, that's definitely not true. 99% of the time, if I post a complaint from somebody, it's because I'm actively trying to find a solution for it. Maybe that's the problem with me, but if somebody says that I'm doing something wrong, it makes me feel bad. So I try to find ways to improve it. That's it. That's really it. That was all that post was. I genuinely felt bad. I felt bad that that videos have been a little difficult to hear. And so I wanted to give people solutions on how they could hear it better. That was it. So to be talked to like I'm on here trying to get attention or feel sorry for myself really was not, that did make me mad because that's not what my goal was. If you guys actually knew me, which you don't because you don't see me or anything, but I am not an attention seeker. It might come off on here like I'm this crazy confident person, but I'm actually one of the most quiet people you'd ever see in a public setting. That's the truth. I, I In social situations, I'm not there like, look at me, look at all I've done. That's not me. I don't try to get people's attention. That's the truth. So to think that I'm on here, some of you thought I was on here trying to make me look like I was mistreated was definitely not true. So instead of letting that post continue to circulate and get people, um, and again, that wasn't the majority, but that was some people, to make people feel like I was being mistreated and that I was just trying to feel sorry for myself, that's ridiculous. So no, that I deleted the post. And with that being said, it was also brought up that... So we're going to keep talking about masks, right? Because that's what everyone's all up in arms about. Okay, there have been comments, and not just one person, because if this person's watching, which I don't even, I think I ticked her off so bad, she's probably never going to watch again, but um, I'm not aiming this at you. I'm aiming this at, there's several people who have commented about um, 
the coronavirus to me and how they don't believe in it and how and actually some have left because I have said I disagreed and, and I do believe in it. People have left because of that. They've stopped watching, which makes zero sense to me why somebody takes it that serious that they cut someone entirely out of their life because they don't agree exactly like them. But I, I've seen it in my own friends list. Several people have actually unfriended me on Facebook because I disagree with them about the virus. There's two sides of it. There's a side that does say it's real. I'm going to do everything I can. Wear the masks, whatever. There's the other side. He says, this is a hoax. They're trying to control your rights. You're a sheep and you're being duped or whatever. And I, those are the exact words I've heard people on my friends list on Facebook say. I just think it's sad that regardless of which side you're on, that we can't like meet in the middle and agree to disagree and still be friends on Facebook and still watch each other on YouTube or whatever. Like, come on. Really? This is where we're at in America. That there's zero tolerance for people when you don't agree the exact same way. I just, it, it makes me upset. But about the masks, I did get a comment recently saying it's your right to wear a mask, which yes, it, it's definitely my right. But I don't need to see it in your videos. You do it, you overkill us with it by putting it in the thumbnails and the intros and in the um, in-store video. So let's just explain that. I put it in the thumbnail because I take my picture in the store. Yeah, okay. I, I think and every YouTuber I've seen lately does the, the mask in their thumbnail. I saw Savvy Coupon Shopper with a mask on in her picture. I saw Couponing with Tony with a mask on in her picture in the thumbnail. I mean, if you're in the store taking your thumbnail picture, which is where we do them at, then we're probably going to have a mask on. That's just, yeah. Two, the in-store videos, if I'm in the store... There's going to be a mask on that. that yeah. So uh, I'm not, yeah. For the intro, I don't leave it on for the majority of the intro because I'm in the car. So sitting there in the hot car with a mask on would not, there's no reason to do that because you're fine in your car. The reason I put on my OVC mask in the intro yesterday is because I was excited about it. I made that mask. I thought it looked cool. I wanted to show it off. That was it. That really was the reason I had it on in the intro video. Um, and this person also got a little frustrated because I said, how many of you would like a couponing mask? And she said, no, I will absolutely never buy a, a mask with anyone's logo from anyone. Um, so yeah, um, here's my thought. I, I told this person, I appreciate your feedback, but I'm not really sure why any of you guys would care that I wear a mask in my intro or in the store. Like, why do you care? Like, you're not me. You're not in my life. You don't live near me. What's it really bother you? If I still go in the store and film the deals and wear a mask, like to me, it makes no sense why anyone would care if I wear a mask. Does that make sense? Like, uh, am I talking to a wall? I, I don't know. But why does it bother you? And that's the thing. People are so worried about what everyone else is doing. If we all just would worry about what we need to do for ourselves and stop caring if Nick from Ohio that you're probably never even going to meet has a mask on in his video. Like, I just don't get it. It's beyond me why that makes people mad that I wear a mask. So, and I told this person, if you want to unsubscribe, that's fine. But I'm not going to stop wearing one. I'm not. So if that makes you mad, I'm sorry, but I'm never, I'm not going to stop wearing one until it feels safe to do so. I have no idea. That could be in two months. That could be in two years. I hope not, but there's no really clear way. I have seen too many people die from this virus that I, I've known. Like preachers that have come to church or church and preached and stuff have died. Not in the age group of people who are old or who are compromised. Died. Because this virus is so bad. People in my church, their families have the virus. Like, come on. I cannot just say it. That I'm going to just let it all go because a couple people on YouTube don't like it. I'm not going to do that. I'm sorry. If that makes some of you mad, I'm sorry. But that's where I'm at. 
So if you are so consumed with the fact you can't look at the deals I do, stuff, if you're just going to focus on a, a piece of cloth on my face, I don't understand why that's what you're focused on instead of every the good things. People focus on the negative in everything in life. No one ever stops and thinks, wow, this is a blessing. Wow, this is good. We just focus on the negative. And that's the problem with our world. That's why there's so much drama and, and so much hate and just people refuse to see the good in anything. And it's sad. It's sad. I don't think anyone should have to unsubscribe because we disagree on masks, but apparently that's that's where we're at. So yes. All right. So that's that. The last thing is there has been crazy spam in my comments. Probably 10 times a day, these people use separate accounts and post links to free gift cards that aren't real. I try to get on there every so often and delete them and block them, but they keep doing it just under different names. So if you ever see a link for a free gift card, do not click on it because it's not real. Hopefully YouTube gets these accounts shut down or whatever, but they keep doing it under different names and stuff. So don't click on those. So yeah, that's this video. I just want to say the drama needs to stop and everybody wants respect. I want respect. I don't care that I'm 20. If you don't think that's the age you've earned respect or whatever, I think everybody deserves respect. Whether your age, your gender, your race, whatever. Whether you believe in COVID or not, you still deserve respect. It doesn't matter to me. You're a person. God made you. You're a person. That's all I care about. I respect you if you disagree with me or not. So yeah, that's it. Let's be nice to each other. Build each other up. Be positive. That's all we that's what we need in these times. Not more fighting. We get enough of that from the news. We don't need that on YouTube too. So yeah, that's all I got. I hope you all got something from this and thank you so much for watching.